Now, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Another Swiss 01 video. And welcome back to the flight simulator. Yeah, we're back in flight simulator fun with Swiss 01. Yeah, welcome back to the X Plane Flight Simulator today. And today we have got a very interesting video. <laughs> Indeed. Um We've got an interesting plane in front of us, uh, which doesn't look like it's a particularly well, well modeled plane. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> well, that's because in today's video, I want to check out the worst rated planes for the flight simulator of X plane, but not any planes, but actually planes on the uh, forum. You know, planes that you know normal people created themselves and put out into the forum for free. Yes, all these planes today are free to download. Are they worth even the free price though? We're gonna find out today. Let's actually jump right in here. Uh, first of all, we're gonna begin with airliners because there's different sections uh, and uh, you know, we've got different planes here. Now, first of all here, we've got this plane right here, the Dornier uh, 728 jet. A very interesting plane, <laughs> indeed. Actually, I wanted to make a video about this plane anyway. Um, and uh, that was like half a year ago, I downloaded this exact model for the flight simulator and I was not particularly, you know, impressed by how this model looked, obviously. And uh, well, the thumbnail doesn't look a lot better, does it? <laughs> yeah. Alright, we have a 2 star out of 5. Not looking too good, let's check out what the ratings are saying. The 2D cockpit is nicely done, but the external textures are really disappointing. Okay. Response from the author. You are right, in real life this 278 jet does look like a toy. But he's not he's not talking about the plane design itself. He's talking about yeah, right So apparently this plane has a pretty good 2d cockpit. Is, th is that literally the 2d cockpit now? Jesus Christ Okay, I think that guy was being ironic with the 2d cockpit It really there is a, this is a, a heads-up display, which is uh, not too bad I mean we at least we have instruments that way. Uh, let's maybe try flying the plane and see how the physics uh, are I'm, I can just imagine how good the physics of this plane is gonna be right uh, Let's go ahead and take off out of here at a La Mole airport Actually the plane design itself from Dornier isn't too bad looking Kinda looks like an Airbus A220 or something. Uh, could be a lot worse, but uh, this plane doesn't really fly realistically. Let's maybe come back for, for our landing here. This is uh, really not the best add-on, really. Now, something else that's a little weird is the elevator surfaces. They're wiggling for some reason. I don't really get it. Okay, let's go ahead. Oh, landing, coming in nicely. Ah. Yeah, well, that, that was not too nice. Yeah, this is not particularly the, the best add-on, is it? I mean, we can try, try out another one. Uh, now in the military aircraft section. This one also now has two and a half stars. No cockpit or views. Can't fly. Tar scenery only. Thrusters should not be deployed. And then there's someone saying another beautiful work that completes an important piece that was missing. Splendid to carry out the load. So we have a, a very wide variety of reviews here on this plane. Let's maybe check it out. Oh, no, actually, there is a former crew member here of one of those planes. If you're looking for an accurate C-141, keep looking. <laughs> Alright, let's check out the Starlifter. Alright, now welcome aboard the Starlifter. This model here isn't like super duper bad. Not as bad as the Dornier, maybe. Or maybe... Uh, the colors don't match. That's a little annoying. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, at least we have a crew sitting here. A very interesting looking crew, for sure, though. <laughs> yeah, what the hell is that? Alright, and we have a, a cockpit, which is not working at all. <laughs> I don't think this actually has, like, instruments or anything. Nope, none of, none of this is actually working. We don't have a 2D cockpit, we have- Oh, we have a- uh, Oh my god, we can now see the face up close, it doesn't look better. Oh my goodness. Why is the reverse thrust out? Like the- I think uh, something was wrong with the engines there, Jesus Christ. Okay, something is, uh... It's weird. When you go throttle idle, then the reverse thrust comes out. Is that normal? Yeah, this plane is a little, <clears throat> a little special. All right, let's go ahead and uh, check out how this plane does fly. All right, take off. And that was a tail. Oh, that was a major tail strike. We we actually became one with the ground. Let's go ahead and put up the landing gear. That works fine. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. How's the physics? How does this plane fly though? All right, first of all, we were able to take off out of this airport, um, which doesn't have a long runway. Is that realistic? I don't really know, but it, uh, it does work. I mean, yeah, okay. But I would say that the Dornier plane is a lot worse. I mean, this one at least has somewhat of a modeled cockpit, right? With some actual people sitting in it, right? That's a little effort put in after all. that. That's what we've got to appreciate, of course. <clears throat> Let's maybe ch then check out another one of those planes that we got. All right, there's a Cessna 425 Conquest one star with two reviews. All right, um, what is that now? <laughs> Appreciate the effort, but converted version of nine planes. Oh, is that X-Plane 9? Literally? Just gonna mention X-Plane 9 came out how many years ago? 
2008. Let's see if that... Why would you even <laughs> have a plane in the forum, right? That's from 2008. I'm pretty sure there's another Cessna 425 Conquest. But okay, let's check out this plane here. Shows up rather cartoonish. <laughs> okay, come on. All right, so we have, um, <laughs> look, the landing gear is missing. Like, the, the wheels show up, but the, the other part of the landing gear is missing. That's a little weird. Okay. Uh, what does actually work, though, is the engines. That does show up, but other than that, <laughs> this plane doesn't look particularly good. Okay, we have a, this, uh, all right, we do have a pilot that's actually implemented into the cockpit. That's good, but is, this not, is that not the same pilot from the Stardifter plane? Uh, oh my god, we can now see the face up close. It doesn't look better. And we're rolling off the runway. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go and take up. Oh. Oh, god damn it. Yeah, this is, uh, not a really good plane to... <laughs> oh, it, is, it is a little agile, though, and I like how the pilot's head moves with whatever movement we make, right? When we turn to the left or to the right. All right, now, grand presentation. Let's check out the cockpit as well. Wow, how much realism! I mean, yeah, what is that, dude? There's not, not even instruments. We have to go to the 2D panel to actually see how fast we are, and this plane is very fast and very agile indeed. Is that realistic physics? Most probably not. Oh, now we've crashed. Okay. All right, now the interesting part of the forum is, of course, the custom designs. You know, the custom planes that people make. All right, now here's one. Two stars. Oh damn, okay, let's check it out. Center of gravity is too far to the rear of the aircraft. Untested experimental aircraft are not armed. Looks fun though. Needs a paint job too. Okay, what is this even? <laughs> yeah. All right, I, I for sure have downloaded it. So let's just go ahead and check out. All right. Now, of course, no 2D cockpit. Right? Oh. All right, so this is interesting. <laughs> oh, this is armed very much indeed. Maybe we can actually use these weapons here. Oh. That was not the smartest idea. Yeah, that was probably an air-to-ground weapon that's exploded on impact. Let's go ahead and take off this plane. Now, yeah, center of gravity is a little messed up, which is why this plane's literally charging down on its tail. All right, now we do not have a paint job indeed, and we have crashed. And that's crashed again. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate this plane already. Yeah, the G-limits are probably not very realistic. I mean, <laughs> yeah, this engine that we have on board here is way too overpowered. All right, come on. Yeah. Uh, this thing does not even fly. And what's that design anyway? What? <laughs> Looks like someone, you know, from the fifth grade drew it. Maybe even probably preschool, honestly. Interesting though how this can be the worst custom design plane, right? I mean, so far we had planes like this one, the 7 7. Yep, this plane also a custom design. I, I don't like it. Oh, look. <laughs> We're racing against this tow truck here. Yeah, this does not even have a cockpit at all. This is just a bunch. All right, showing us up like a front camera or something. How creative. Okay, let's check out how this plane flies as well. I would say this should be pretty much the worst reviewed custom design plane because it doesn't it doesn't fly. Like, it, does, it really does not. Un I mean, I always appreciate people and their creativity. So maybe we shouldn't judge them. I mean, at least they're not charging any money for, for, for what they're doing, right? I mean, there's way worse examples in the flight simulation world, for sure. So, yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mubarak, uh, Block, Moritz, Deload, um, Toby, Cook, of course, Great Grandpa John, Mark, Leo, uh, Philip, No You, Larry, Finn, M, uh, Thomas, Riley, Preston, Government Pasta, Will, Philip, Iscanvi, Kalamati, Airlines, Opalax, Cherry, and Kelly Chaos. Thank you so much.